welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, today, I am actually going to just jump in and share with you our science curriculum. Um, I, have, I am breaking, sorry, <laughs> words, they're hard. I'm breaking down these videos into multiple subjects so that we don't have hour long video and you can find the subject that you're looking for and just see what we're doing for this year. Um, so I've done a math video, Bible is coming, um, literature is coming and our unit study is coming. So be on the lookout for those. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Stephanie. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, and we, I am mom of three arrows and they are 10, six, and four. So we have a going into fifth grade first grade and kindergarten. Um, now, like I said, we're doing science. Science for us is going to be a group subject. So we're gonna do science together either one to two days a week. I haven't messed, done my schedule yet. Don't worry, that video will come. Um, but for science, we are using master books and we're using their level one um, adventures in creation. And the reason that I'm okay with using level one, even though that's only Cayman's level, it's below Lana's level and it's above Malachi's level is because with science, I can advance them as I need to. Um, so the table of contents, I will show you, um, right here. It goes through with how we study science, the first day of creation, light is made of colors, light waves, rainbows, the second day of creation, atmosphere, and it goes all the way through and it's gonna get us through all of creation. So we'll get through all seven days of creation. Are we down here? Yeah. Um, and my, if you don't know, Master Books is a Christian-based curriculum, which is why I do love it. They do integrate God into all of their subjects. And I love that. Um, I also love that in the, big, the front of their books, they do also give you a materials list. So it tells you on each week what you need for that week so that you can make sure you are fully prepared. And I do believe they have, okay, so they do have a schedule also in the front of their books and they do have this in the math too. I did not show that in the math book, but it is there. It gives you a schedule, a recommended schedule, the due date if you want to do that and the date and when you've done, you check it off. Now they have it broken down. There are how many? 36 weeks and they've got it broken down three days a week. Like I said, we probably won't do three days a week for science. It'll be one or two days, but we'll probably do most of the book. Um, let's open up one of them so that we can just look. Okay, let's just look at the first one. How we study science. Um, it gives you what you're going to read on day one. Um, and then on day one, you also will let someone color. Like, see, this would be an activity that I would let Malachi do. Um, and then when it comes to some of the bigger things when it comes to experiments that'd be more Cayman and Malachi, Cayman and Lana, and then Malachi can help on some of the easier parts. Um, but I am going to say that I do not plan on just doing all the work pages and just being done with it. Uh, we will work through this workbook. We'll do some of these pages. We probably won't do them all, but that's okay because we are just going to take our time, do some experience, experiments, learn, and let them play through the learn. Um, but that's it. That's all we're doing for science. We're going to work through that book. We're going to um, watch DIY Sci. And there's another show that came in and Lana now like that they've told me about. I can't remember the name. I'm not sure what it's on either. I'll have to ask and I'll let you know. Um, but we'll watch science videos and let them just pick and choose what they want to do for the week when it comes to experiments when we do our science. But I wanted to show you something else. So, you know, I love me some Dollar Tree. Love Dollar Tree. I found this little cute thing at Dollar Tree yesterday. So it is a weather um, guide to the sky is what it is. So as you spin it, it gives you the name of the cloud. It gives you what the cloud looks like. It gives you a little bit of 
description of the cloud. The cumulus cloud is puffy cotton-like clouds. And then down here, it also gives you um, precipitation, the chance of rain. It gives you the altitude that those clouds usually are. And then your guide over here for the map. Isn't that cute though? And it just, you spin around and it just gives you all the clouds. And my kids love looking at clouds. So of course I had to buy this. And I know there's a section in here for clouds in the sky. So I knew it would work well with that. But anyways, yeah, that's all. How easy. That'll take us maybe, maybe 20 minutes a day if it includes an experiment because I'll let them do the experiment over and over, take their time, you know, really enjoy it and, and have fun because that's what school's about, right? But anyways, all right, that's it. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for Bible curriculum and literature in our unit study. Until then, see y'all next time. Bye.